In 2018, I started doing West Coast Swing, which is a social dance where you dance with another partner. After dancing for a year and a half, I started demanding myself to get better at a faster and quicker pace. I started to train myself out of my own identity on the dance floor, and I felt like I was never having fun. After taking a three-year hiatus, I got back into dance. I reminded myself of the newfound goals that I had, which was I want to get better at dance and stay me in the practice. So today we're going to be talking about how we can develop having a healthy amount of dedication, determination, and drive in a specific hobby where we don't lose ourselves and we don't become too hard on ourselves unnecessarily. So let's get started. When I started coming back to dance, I realized that I don't need to apologize for just being me on the dance floor if I'm being safe about it. Another thing I did to help me improve my dance was actually cheering and smiling on other people that I watched, along with reminding myself that I can break away from competitive, often gendered norms that I have stuck in my head, where I as a woman compare myself to other followers on the dance floor. Another way that I've helped myself is by reminding myself that there's time for practice and there's time for play. I've also found ways to identify when I need to take a pause on my dance if I'm being too critical with myself. Lastly, imagine you have a real or fictional coach cheering you on. They'll be hard on you in the moments that you need them to be, but they would always be in your corner. They would remind you in the tough moments why you practice and they would stop you when you need a water break to cool down. Take it from me, it can be hard to be gentle on yourself while also pushing yourself to new level. But if our mental health is diminished while we're doing this hobby, why are we doing it anyway? I hope you journey out into a hobby that you love or you're willing to try with a gentle and loving spirit to yourself. See you next time.